Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today is going to be a really simple styling video. I'm going to style this beautiful 360, 130% density wig that I'm wearing. And I'm going to try to do a Rihanna look for you guys. I might fail, but that's okay. I have my curling iron spready. So let's turn these bad boys on, because that's step one. So my goal is to look something like this. So we'll see, y'all know. I mean, I might be able to get it done. We got matching foreheads. So how was your New Year's? My Christmas was really simple. I think I'll put some curls in this just to see how it looks curled up, and then I'm gonna put it up. I told the kids that we were having a very simple, low-key Christmas, because last year I kind of might have lost my dig on mine. Um, I want to show you guys how easily this hair curls. Uh, because I do like couponing. I have not couponed in probably, uh, I want to say probably six or seven months. Couponing is such a labor-intensive thing to get into, and I know I've talked about it in the past before, but you gotta have, you gotta be ready to, to sit there and clip through you know, 10, 15 different newspapers, and you have to look at the weekly um, ad, shopping ads that each individual store has, like Kroger's, and Harris Teeter, and Farm Fresh, and Food Lion, and to decide, okay, this is the store that I'm going to clip these coupons and go to. So I had the energy, and I had the time when I was pregnant last year, um, but ever since I gave birth to Bella, it was like, girl, bye. So, but in that time, in that nesting phase, I had accumulated so many diapers that literally I just bought a pack of diapers two weeks ago, and it was the first time I had bought diapers for Bella since I was seven months pregnant. Um, I still have not bought any more laundry detergent since I was six months pregnant. So when I coupon, I, I, I do go all out. So when last year, when it was Christmas time, um, I found so many great deals. I don't think I paid for a single toy full price. Like if it was not discounted and I didn't have a coupon for it, I was not buying it, okay? And that made for a very, very full Christmas tree. But then I noticed that the kids didn't even play with half the stuff. So we did a very minimal Christmas this year and the kids were just as happy. And I'm so grateful to have children who are not about... One year my daughter asked for some peanut butter. I said, what do you want for Christmas, Danny? And she said, can I have my own peanut butter? And I was like, you want that for Christmas? Cause I will put a bowl on some peanut butter for you. This curls up so easily. So this January the 1st was me and Sam's metaversary. It's the anniversary of the day we met. And 12 years. So holy crap. Do you know this man forgot? <laughs> and I'm like, wow. New Year's Eve, 12 years together. And he was like, yo. One question I do have for those of you who actually have traveled to go to like Times Square for New Year's, what is that like? Cause it's like, I know when you're going to an event, you don't want to lose your spot, you're in a great spot. You leave, it's kind of over. So you have to stay where you are. So what do y'all do? We gotta go to the bathroom. Curl away from my face. I did not set any New Year's resolutions this year because I like working on myself like around November and December time frame. So when January happens, I'm already well into an established routine and I don't have to start things over. But what I did do is I finally broke down and I have a personal trainer now. I ran into two beautiful women at the gym that I go to and they had rec one and one of them recognized me from my channel and I started talking, I was so embarrassed you guys. I was wearing my <laughs> go to the gym workout uniform where I look really busted and everything but they did not care and they were so helpful and so gracious and they told me girl, this is what's going on. And one of them was actually a former trainer. I think she was getting her masters at that time so she was not taking on any clients. But she was like, listen, if you really wanna reach your goals, this is what you gotta do. I recommend doing A, B, C, D. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that because I go to the gym and I work out and I say, okay, I'm done. And I would do like an 45 minutes to an hour of cardio and then I would do some lifting and then I would leave. But I never pushed myself. If I hit a wall, I would 
to stop, you know? So I've worked out with um, my personal trainer twice now, and she really pushes me, and she looks at me like, girl, I know you can do this. I know this is, I know this is tough, but you can do it, and you're going to do it again, and you got two more sets to go. And you know what? I have been really underestimating how much strength I really do have, and how much I can push myself if I'm challenged to. Because if I'm doing it by myself, I'm leaving. You know, but if I have somebody over me saying, girl, I know you can do two more. I know you can do two more. Come on, let's go. Let me see you do it. Give all your strength. I'll actually do it. So I'm glad. I, I, I'm so thankful for those two lovely women, Taylor and Vivian. Thank you so much for taking the time out to pour some black girl magic on somebody who is clearly struggling because I was struggling. So anyway, here is the beautiful way this wig turned out. And so now, I'm gonna try to put half of this stuff up. So we can look like, I don't know if you can say. All right, so I have one of these bad boys, which are very small, plastic, they're not rubber band. Hair ties, and I use these for Bella's hair because they're very slippery and they will slide right out and they won't cause tangles. So I'm gonna use that. Cause it's in here. We're gonna go back to the seventh grade with this one. Ah! All right, this is where your baba pin becomes your friend because I don't want this sticking up like this and making me look like a Girl Scout. I'm going to smush the ponytail down and then use the bobble pin to hold it down. What do you think? So there you have it. The style is really cute. I can't stop smiling when I when I wear my hair like this. It makes me look like a kid. Super simple, easy style that literally could take two minutes to do if you're not me and you don't talk as much as I talk. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll put all the information on this hair in the description box below and I'll talk to you guys later. Happy New Year's! <laughs>